The title of this video is Setting Boundaries to Reduce Stress. Although another good name for it would be Learning to Say No Without Feeling Guilty. You know, it's very easy to say yes. Can you work this weekend? Yes, of course I can, boss. I know this is an inconvenience, but will you drop this off on your way home? Yes, sure. We're going to need this order a week earlier than we thought. Can you deliver? Yes, no problem. Whereas, in reality, what you really want to say is no. No, I don't want to work this weekend. It's my kid's birthday party. No, I don't want to drop this off on the way home. It's six miles in heavy traffic. No, I can't deliver earlier because that means I'm going to have to put somebody else's order off and they're going to get mad at me. So I'm going to make them mad to keep you happy. So you know, there are some times when you really ought to say no. But in order to keep things sweet, in order to keep people happy, we're programmed to say yes and trying to balance those two out can be very, very stressful. Now, the website about.com have come up with a checklist that you can go through to decide whether or not you should say yes or no when faced with this sort of situation. And the first thing that they suggest is, if nobody would be disappointed, would I prefer to say yes or no? Look at it that way, balance it out. If no one's going to be disappointed, do you want to do it or don't you? Second point, looking at all the benefits and costs in the situation, both tangible and intangible, is it worth the effort to say yes? In other words, is the client who wants it a week early a bigger client than the one that you're going to upset by putting their job off? That, that sort of thing. You have to weigh up the benefits as it says, both tangible and intangible. Third point, would you feel comfortable posing the same request to somebody else? So if you were to be in the situation of the person asking you, would you feel comfortable posing that question, asking them to do the same thing? Fourth point, if people would be upset with you if you said no, do you truly feel they're coming from a respectful, reasonable place? And if not, might it be time to start setting some limits? You know, are people being genuine or are they just chancing their arm? Next point, is this a precedent that you want to set? Because once you've said yes once, it's very hard to say no to the same question later on. So... Is this a precedent you want to set? And if not, where would be a reasonable place to draw the line? And another thing that they recommend is that you think of someone you feel has very healthy boundaries, the kind that you would like to emulate. How do you think they would respond in this situation? So you want to give time for yourself the same priority as you give to time for others. And you want to schedule time to do something for yourself, something that gives you joy and which energizes you. Now, this could be something like a personal project. It could be some type of recreational activity, or it could be just some quiet me time. And when you give yourself the same priority as you give to others, then you're setting a boundary because you're saying yes to yourself. You're saying yes to you, you're giving yourself the same priority and that will reduce your stress level very, very considerably. Now, so far we've talked about what causes stress. In the next video, I'm going to give you five ways that you can reduce your stress level and help get stress out of your life.